Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are at the Bloomfield Farm channel. However, today we are at my house in uh, Dallas, Texas. And um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick tour because today we're gonna go out antiquing. And all of you that know me know that that is like my favorite pastime. Um, I love it more than anything. I love going to shops, looking around, seeing what other people have given away or wanna sell. See if I can find a find. Maybe it's the um, hunter-gatherer in me, I don't know. I just know that I'm, I'm a very eclectic uh, designer and I'll show you guys my house here. So this is my home, my dining room. Um, that's our dog gate. <laughs> we have lots of animals that we have to control. But, um, you know, my house, and as you can look around and see, is, is very, very eclectic. This is a 1940s, um, what some would consider a farmhouse, but in Texas is just a ranch style. And uh, it's an Austin stone on the exterior. But you know what I'm getting at you guys with my antiquing today and every day that I go is that I don't have a particular style. And I think it kind of freaks some people out, but I put old with new and I just don't see the issue with doing that. I love old things, but I love new things too. And I, I like bling, <laughs> I love bling, but I also love something that's chipped and old and has character and tells a story. And that is kind of how I've surrounded myself. I mean, I love color, I love color. That painting over there with the, it's a little girl with a hat on, or that's what my daughter says it is. She did that in kindergarten. She's now in um, 11th grade, she's 17. I think she did that when she was about five or four. But it, it's been the inspiration for the whole room. I love the colors she chose. Uh, it's her thinking cap that was put on, and I just love that dreams and ideas are coming out of her head. And so I had it matted, and I just, you know, over the years have kept pieces of her kid art everywhere. They're kind of tucked around the house. And that painting was the inspiration for the color of these walls, which I love the orange, and also the color of the couch, the purples, the warm jewel tones, and mixed in here, you know, there's a lot of old. I mean, there's these old glass paperweights that I collect. I, you know, I only collect them when I can find them for 10 to $20. I, the way people um, are pricing these things these days is just way out of my pocketbook range. But, um, so I collect those. Um, I said my daughter brought me this one back from um, Italy, Milano, Italy. Uh, but the table itself, I got it from a yard sale for like, I don't know, $15. These chairs came from an antique store. Uh, I got them for a steal. Then, you know, those little silver tables came from a yard sale. And again, very angular, but with the old, with the new, I just think it all works. And I know I have no training whatsoever as an interior designer. So uh, it's probably quite evident to most people that are watching, but um, I don't care. I, everything I have here has meaning and that's the beauty of it all. Here's Miss Madeline. She's my 17 year old miniature schnauzer and uh, she's deaf and going blind, but it's such a sweetheart. Those are her little stairs to get up and down. This was my grandfather's chair. I mean, he was born in 1890. Um, it was green, then it was bright yellow in the 70s, and then we had it covered in this tan leather. It's a rocker, it's probably from the 30s. You know, it's never gone with any of my attire, but I love it, and it's comfortable, and obviously Madeline loves it, so we just keep it here. Um, over here, you know, just little bits and finds that I have found and just put together through the years. So anyway, that's my home. So today we're gonna go out antiquing and uh, you get to go see what I see through my eyes. And, um, and I might pick up a couple little finds and I'm gonna post them on my Etsy shop. So if you see anything you like, let me know and um, you know, just comment. And uh, if you like it, throw out a price and I will get it to you, okay? Thanks and uh, let's go. Howdy. How's it going? How are you doing? Kim? I'm good. I'm good. Always good to see you. What's going on with you? Uh, not a whole lot. Yeah. It, it does not stop in here. It is endless. And these.
these guys will work with you on price. Any ideas? So, I don't know if you guys are going to freak out at this the way I did, but this is an old French door to a barn or something. They still have a French newspaper attached to the back of it. But look at the hardware. It's a knocker. Like, look at that. It fits right in there. An old key. I really just want the knocker because I think she's fabulous. So you guys, I get myself into this kind of pickle all the time in places like this, but especially here because they strike such good deals. So that French door that I showed you, um, it's like marked one something, one something. Anyway, they came to 155 and then the other brother came down to 129 for it, but it's really the knocker I want off of it. It's a, um, a French lady's hand, it's all brass knocker. Um, and I'm trying to source right now how much it would be just to buy that and then make them an offer on that. But this is the kind of stuff I run into here where I see something really cool and really neat and we need a knocker, we need a front door at Bloomfield. Oh my God, it's so heavy and so cool. outside they really want me to buy that door and they just told me somebody else is measuring it I don't want the door I just want the knocker I really like the knocker but I want to show you guys like outside of this place 
it's just like the perfect store. Friendly people, everybody wants to help you. That neat stuff, like look at that thing with the window. Like that is just, ah, oh, if this was Virginia. I need to find a place like this in Virginia when I go. Ooh, there's like one of my shutters for Bloomfield. Looks exactly like them. So anyway, like it's just the best place. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys. It's called Lots of Furniture. They're super nice guys. Always helpful, always nice to me. Um, I don't know, it's just nice to be recognized. Look at this, you guys. I think I saw those on Etsy for like $1,000 each or $600 each. So, and those are old, beautiful ones. Like, why can't we be in Virginia? Look at the urns, right there. It's just incredible. So I'm leaving lots of furniture right now. I did not buy the knocker or the door. Um, they did give me a little card that I did have in here, it was in my pocket, that says, oh, here it is, $129 for the door. But I just want the knocker. Anyway, um, I just love how it looks and feels. And I just look back over the video of me walking around outside of lots of furniture. Sorry for the ding, I just started my car. But uh, there was a marble mantle out there, just sitting out there. And I missed it because I'm looking at all the other things. I mean, you guys, it's just nuts. It's just. I don't know if you guys will get as much a kick out of this place as I will, but I just, it's not, it's, oh, I can't describe it, it's like a rummage sale, but with really good things. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, um, you know, it's been a fun day, and uh, thanks for coming along for the ride. Put a description of everything and everywhere I've been, and the links to everywhere I've been below in, um, in the description area. So if you want to come to these places, if you come to Dallas and you visit, these places would, would be just such a fun, fun thing to do. Anyway, um, I will talk to you guys later and on my next uh, jaunt out, I'll make another video. Thanks for watching.